Yes, I mean, they want to keep the pound, uh, but of course be separate from the Bank of England. Yeah. Um, they want to be in NATO, but ditch uh, Trident. I mean, the whole thing is all over the shop. And Salmon, of course, thinks that his Alba party can provide a real challenge. And yet, if we're honest about it, he hasn't done that well, has he? He hasn't done that well. You know, he was a driving force behind making the SNP a big party, the biggest party in Scottish politics. And yet, that vote hasn't transferred on a personal level. Whether that's a result of the endless accusations against him, which, which incidentally, you know, he won his court case over. But somehow, she's the Queen Bee. I want to tell you on a personal level, I've met all the political leaders, mm. uh, you know, over the last 10, 12 years. I've appeared in national debates with them, uh, been in green rooms with them, done big programmes with them. Um, I've met leaders from all over the world. I've met the Pope, the Dalai Lama, the US president, the French president, <laughs> the German, Ch I mean, you name it. I've met them all. But I want to tell you this. The single most unpleasant, sour-faced, humorless person of all the people I've met among world leaders is Nicola Sturgeon, <laughs> bar none. I mean, it isn't just that she's wrong. She's deeply unpleasant. And I also think very hypocritical with it, too.